I feel like she ignores the directions completely when they clearly said that every floor has a killer on it. Nope. 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 Uh-oh. Huh? The gravestone Zack destroyed. Has it been moved somewhat? Oh, hey, Eddie. Good to see you again, bud. Not again. What's wrong with me? How am I able to see the dead now? But this is no time to be scared. Oh, so he is dead. I don't know why I thought he was, like, alive down there. The stone has been shifted, exposing the grave. The grave appears not to be occupied. Which doesn't really make sense, because if he's a dead spirit, he wouldn't have moved the gravestone. He would have, like, just walked through it. Water temperature room is, um... I remember this. It's... It's somewhere. Upon closer inspection, I see this place has been utterly ruined. Eddie was a nice boy, to be sure, to be true. Furious he must have been that his graveyards were the target of villainous devastation. I don't know if he was a nice boy. He murdered people. Perhaps his kind heart is to blame for his tendency to receive the short end of the stick. A piteous fellow. But it is those who were meant to be resting in their graves who should be pitied the most. Eddie was compassionate enough to give them a resting place for the cleansing of their souls. Now, even that wish shan't be granted. Well, I shall go on ahead. You may resume your errand. Thanks for the guilt trip, huh? I didn't even have anything to do with Eddie's death. There's something sticking out from the broken gravestones. I mean, I turned the power on so that Zack could kill him, but other than that, I had nothing to do with it. Those shouldn't be here. But no need to worry about that now. I've got to go to the temperature control room. I'm pretty sure it's at the back of the room to the right. Pretty sure you're right. What's out of this gravestone? The gravestone is broken to pieces. A hand-shaped stuffed toy protrudes from a crevice there. Okay. I do. Oh, that's all. Very cool. Very cool background colors. Hello. Were there coffins here before? I feel like yes. I'm gonna go with yes, maybe. Coffin is tightly shut. It is surrounded by copious amounts of blood. Ooh, coffin is tightly shut. It is covered in dirt. Uh, okay. There's a large hole in the wall. The control room for the water temperature should be through here. Um, there's a switch somewhere around here, right? Uh, upon opening the refrigerator, a breeze of chilly air begins to waft out. There's nothing inside. Uh, there's a hole in the back, but I can't seem to reach it. If I had something long and thin. Long and thin? Where the hell am I supposed to get that from? Uh, let me see. Let's search the room, see if we can find a long and thin stick. I'm looking for a stick. A sticky stick. Door is tightly shut. No stick over there. Wait, do I have something in my inventory that I forgot about? Nope, I got a handbag. Something tells me my gun is not going to cut that. Um... Long and thin. Ah! There's a broken pickaxe. It's broken, but it might still have some use left in it. But it's not long enough. I'll go find something to make it longer. Okay. Um. Well, if not this, let's see if we can find some more stick. Hello. The object protruding from the gravestone is moving on its own. I think that's a hand-shaped stuffed toy. I guess it's a moving toy. Probably don't want to touch it. Hmm. Ah. If I tie that to a stick with some string, then... Uh, you want to grab one of these things? Acquire the toy hand. Guess I just need... A stick now. I don't know what's going on here, but I'll do it. There's a broken pickaxe. It's broken. Some use. Not long enough. I have... A hand and I have thread in my bag so you know that should work out okay or not I guess I'm gonna keep exploring because I don't have the thing that they want me to have out of dirt ah and I got another hand uh, moving stuff toy hand I feel like I should have enough hands dude that still has work to do I shouldn't insist the anymore What's my work, though? I'm clearly high. Am I supposed to be... 
Acquired toy hand. Am I supposed to be doing that? Ugh, I don't know. We'll find out soon enough, I guess. That should do it. I'll try attaching it to that pickaxe. Don't chase me around like that. I have enough hands now. I don't need you. Where did I leave that darn pickaxe? Always getting ahead of me. Ah, right, here we go. Pickaxe. Broken pickaxe. If I attach the toy hands to this and make it longer. First, I'll sew them together. As every 12 year old would do. Uh, and combine them. Why does that not sound like hands? That sounds like liquid. Then, if I attach it onto the tip of the broken pickaxe. Acquired strange pickaxe. Now I should be able to reach the back of the refrigerator. Right. That's what we were trying to do. Reach the back of a refrigerator. What refrigerator in particular? Was it this? All right, are these refrigerators? I should tell it pervades the air. How did I do that, though? Oh, it's X. Don't know why, but it is. I should be able to reach the back if I use this. This thing's so odd. It's not broken and is still wiggling a little. Well, you did use magical toy hands. Good. This was the right switch. I gotta hurry to the elevator that goes down on the floors below. The toy hand stopped moving. That sounds like it. Yep, it is. I saw that, Rachel. How terrible. Just terrible. Hey, does hearing a sad scream not make you feel anything, Rachel? Don't you want to comfort whoever screamed? Ever consider what makes that person happy? You only think about yourself, Rachel. And blatantly ignore anyone else's happiness. Well, his happiness concerned her dying, so I think she's excuse for that one and that's why everyone around you even Zach will no doubt suffer and meet their end not again hmm how awful a sad scream I feel nothing suffer and meet their end even Zach but I no I mustn't think about this the next floor B5 has the medicine I gotta hurry and go back there Got your switch. Uh, I press the switch. It appears so. Rachel Godna. How did you manage to press the switch? You always got questions to ask me, Robin. Uh, I attached a toy hand to a pickaxe and pressed it with that. Interesting. Did they wail in agony? They were hands, so no, they, they didn't say a word. They just left me handing there. Oh, that was, that was bad. I'm sorry. Nope. How can you be so sure? Because they were hands and had no mouse, Robin. I mean, it was just the toy hand after all. I see. They must have appeared to you as such. So be it. If that is what you saw, then it must be true. You're the one that drugged her, so that's on you. If that was a little kid whose hand was just getting cut off, you made her see a toy hand. Please let me go down to the next floor. Very well. Hmm. We have arrived at B5. The good group. Who's afraid of the big bad wolf? You wished to come here, did you not? Yeah. Then make haste and find your medicine. Danny is a fastidious man, but he is nevertheless scrupulous, dedicated, and biased in his work. Surely he has the medicine you seek. Nevertheless, it seems Danny has been a trifle obsessive as of late. I'd say he really wants my peepers. Um, what is it? There's something I need to get on B6 as well. Oh, very well. Why is he allowed to leave his floor? Why is he the only one that has the ability to leave his floor? He must run this entire op operation. Sure it's okay? Yes. I am Robin after all. Return to the elevator once you have found the medicine. Okay. Like a delic. Time to find that medicine. If we 
if we could just start walking and stop talking about it. I'm positive there should be some here somewhere, although I was in a complete daze and didn't take a good look around when I was here before. Hmm, I passed through this floor before, but something seems a bit out of place. Could it be the moving walls? It's been bothering me the whole time, but I just can't put my finger on it. Hmm, the walls and the elevator are exactly as they were. Not really, I don't remember the moving like that. Even Zach's vomit is still there. Still moving just like I remember it. Uh-oh. Something's really not right here. I'm out of here. Okay, 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 okay. We were being chased by vomit. Would not have expected that. Did I just die? I couldn't move. I was stuck on glass, so... Ow. Mm -mm. Huh? What was that just now? Walking, talking, spitting, vomit. Walk it like I vomit. Ow, I sort of cut my foot on the glass. It happened when I panicked and ran away. I saw. I know when it happened. It sure smarts, but the cut is... Sm it what? It sure smarts. Never met a 12-year-old that says, It sure smarts. Man, that smarts. But that cut is small, and I'm not losing any blood, really. Phew. In fact, the whole thing's left me feeling strangely refreshed. What in the world was all that about? It must be the medicine wearing off somehow. Never mind about that. I gotta find that medicine. Zach's depending on me. I'll try checking out the operating room. It seems like a place where I could find some. Sure, why not? Was well, the operating room here or... Uh-oh. The interior has been ransacked, leaving no place to step. Okay, don't worry about this. I'm gonna save real quick because I haven't done that in a while. Just remembered that this game does work off of saves. Too much debris, completely destroyed. All right, where was that operating room? Was it in here? Nah, I wasn't in here either. Somebody got pissed. Almost like they lost something really important to them and they just couldn't handle it, so they started destroying things because they thought they'd never get it back. The doctor's missing. Oh no, where is he? I'm pretty certain there wasn't a body on B3 or B4 either, but the only trace of him being dragged is here. Something's off. Hmm, I'll forget that for now. My first priority is finding some medicine. The room in the back should have a cell uh, shelf of specimens and drugs, our favorite. Uh, drugs? Lots of empty bottles, no drugs. Uh, something about a solution. There are numerous glass eyes inside. Oh yeah, we remember that. Eyeballs. Okay, what about in the shelves then? Drugs have been taken out, leaving only the eye specimens. The drugs are gone. Like somebody was hurt and needed drugs for themselves. I'll scour all the drug shells on this floor if I have to. Okay, well, let's do that then. I'm, I'm all for it. I got no place to be. Uh, I guess there's a room upstairs. Oh, wait, no, we're already up there. Not upstairs, but to the right and to the left. And then to the left again. Now, let's try this door first. Uh, empty. The glass rack is unlocked. Unfortunately, the medicine has been taken out, leaving it bare. Now, that priest did walk out before us, so maybe he decided that he wouldn't play another game and took all the medicine for himself. There's nothing even back here, dude. Um, it, it, what, what are you doing? The security camera is broken. Uh huh. That was the bed. Somebody's really strong down here. The inside's also been ransacked. There's nothing here. Mm. Oh, you just want me to check the second one. It's gone. All gone. The medicine's all gone. Music it got intense. Did someone make off with it? I gotta get back and see Zach. Let him know that he's gonna die. But I also gotta go to B6. Zach asked me to... I gotta hurry. He, yeah, that's right. He wanted something, and I can't remember what it was anymore. All right, well, the medicine's gone, so Zach's gonna die, which Eddie told us was gonna happen, so apparently Eddie is psycho and a psychic. All right, I'm ready to go to B6. What does that matter? You look ghastly. Hurry and take me to B6. And so I shall... But did you find any medicine? No. Nothing. You told me there would be medicine here on B5, but that turned out to be false. Hmm. Well. Uh-huh. Perhaps you doubt my words, but do not look upon me with accusing eyes. 
I too am unaware as to why the medicine is missing. Oh, I thought you knew all. Saw all. Hmm. Yet, I can guess that you are to blame, Rachel Godna. It has nothing to do with me. Has it never crossed your mind that you have played a part in all these unfortunate events? Nah, dog. I told you it has nothing to do with me. Hmm. Well, it would be hard for her to steal medicine when she was with you the entire time. Never mind that. Hurry and take me back to B6. Very well. Let us be on our way then. To B6. Oh, look who's waking up. Oh. So you're alive. I have no idea who's speaking, so I'm just going to go with... Oh. So you're alive. But you're so weak. Was it the doctor? Danny? Dr. Danny? The only person I can think that's alive. Shall I finish you off, Zach? It is Dr. Danny. Wakey, wakey. You never change, do you, Zach? It amazes me that you can move so nimbly in that shape. But look at you. You're almost out of breath. What the hell are you doing here? Surprised. I knew all along that you were attempting to go after Rachel and leave this floor. So I hid a bit of a safety precaution under my clothes, just in case. I had no idea. No idea that you'd actually show up, though. All right. I'll slash you good. One more time. You mustn't push yourself, Zack. Look at you. Such a slow poke. Uh. Besides all that, just give it a rest. Even I didn't make it out unscathed, okay? My body armor and blood transfusion packs got hit hard, resulting in this mess. You seem pretty peppy considering if you ask me. That's what separates you and I. Proper preparation in advance and clean up afterwards. Though, I'm just as frantic as you are. I thought about killing you in your sleep, but you woke up. There goes that idea. You did a lot of talking too, so... Tell me, why are you accompanying Rachel? And where is she anyways? Are you seriously asking me that? As if I'd ever tell you where she is, you fuck. What would you do if I said I killed her? Huh? You trash. Who do you think's been admiring her peepers? Are you trying to say you killed her? Don't fuck around with me. What the hell is this? What is this? What's going on with that? Those peepers are so unique. I've been searching my whole life for peepers like those. Alive, yet dead, and so strangely tranquil and beautiful. Guess I'm just gonna add my own words. You think I'm gonna let someone like you have her peepers? They're all mine. Mine! I've been admiring them for so long. Creepy. Who gives a flying fuck? I couldn't care less about her eyes. What? She wants me to kill her? And I'll be the one to do it. So whatever happens to Ray isn't yours to des uh, decide. Excuse me. It takes a toll on my throat. Fine. Have it your way then. I know she's alive. You being here on this floor is proof of that. <clears throat> ah! Brilliant idea. Ah, yes. Allow me to make a proposal, my battered friend. Huh? To tell the truth, I have lots of medicine on my person. Want me to use it? To save you? <sighs> what kind of medicine is going to instantly heal the bullet wounds and stab wounds and electrocutions that Zack has gone through? I guess the goop... The... the, the <laughs> The, the, what is it? The stuff from uh, Evil Within? Was it like brain matter or something like that? I can't remember. That is, if you scoop out Rachel's peepers and give them to me. Uh, uh, I just told you that I've got no fucking interest in Ray's eyes. Count me out. He's a killer with morals. Without her eyes. Her laugh 
and smile would be empty. Isn't that what you want? I thought I told you to... Oh, right, no, he wants her to be happy. He needs her eyes, right? I thought I told you to leave me alone about her stupid eyes. I'm not giving you anything, you bastard. Oh, my. What a fool. I'll take my leave, then. <clears throat> I'll lose to a monster like you in my current state. You can't even walk properly by yourself, right? In that case... I should hoof it out of here while I can. Besides, I gotta make preparations to protect her peepers. Hey, shit, wait! Down to B6. We have arrived at B6. Vax floor corresponds to his mystique, his uncomplicated in design. Now make haste. Yeah, he's very straightforward to the point. Wants to kill people. Don't be happy around him or you'll die. Hmm. Gotta get it and hurry back. So it's inside the place Zack and I first met. Well, we first met right in front of that bar here that I really wanted to go into earlier, but y'all wouldn't let me. Uh, not over here, but over here, right? Yeah. Wooden playing excuse for boarding up and removed. The inside is dimly lit and obscured. Inside here. All right, let's see how he lives, shall we? This room. This place is a pigsty, but it feels like somebody was here. Yeah, Zack. Huh. Could this be where Zack was staying? I know I'm in a hurry, but I'm a bit curious about all of this. Me too. There's a tattered magazine besmirched with scribbles. There is a graffiti around it that is identical to the scribbles. Like he was trying to learn how to write or read. Maybe Zach wrote this. Oh, that's right. Zach can't read. That's sad. Empty cans of carbonated beverages are strewn on, uh, strewn on the floor. Does he like this soda or something? Dirty used bandages are uh, discarded on the floor. Oh, dude, there's a lot of blood. So it's like when he takes it off, it must be stuck to his skin. And so he's like just bleeding all the time when he takes him off. That's just like forever pain, man. It's like Wolverine's condition. Colorful cereal is scattered all over the floor. A chip container holds cereal soggy and liquefied by a carbonated drink. Well, at least we know he's taking care of himself. I guess the soda pop didn't complement the cereal well, huh? How long has he been down here? There's a sink caked in reddish brown splatter and a hung dirty towel. Don't tell me he's been using this the whole time. Yeah, he's not hes not in the best state. A broken glass cup sits neglected on the desk. The cup appears to contain some kind of drink. Unsafe. But there are signs of someone drinking from it. Drinking from a broken cup. What are the signs of somebody drinking from a cup? Like there's a bunch of handprints on it? Could have just picked it up. A half-eaten bag of snacks is on the floor. The contents are mushy. Alright. Blade over here. A dirty knife lies on the crate. Is this what Zach was talking about? It's awfully dirty and not to mention a little rusty. Seems like it wasn't maintained very well. That's odd. Blade. It looks razor sharp. I'll bring it along just in case. Acquired a knife. Right after I do a quick final sweep. Soiled blankets are scattered all over the dilapidated sofa. Boy, is he pissing himself? It's a shoddy hard spring sofa. The blankets are thin. Nah, must, must not provide much warmth. I think Zach's had enough warmth in his life. A single bandage lays between the sofa. Required a bandage. A bandage? Good. There's no burn medicine. I think there's... Probably nothing else left. Gotta hurry and get back. Well, we learned a lot about Zach. He's uh, he wants to learn how to read. He is conscious, self-conscious about that, or write at least. <sighs> Zach. So he spent his time here like this. I had no idea. And he's also somehow able to run for a good amount of time very quickly. He's being incredible strength and endurance, and all he eats is snacks, chips, and soda. Come to think of it, I don't. 
don't know anything about Zack. No, we read that book. We know a little bit. He was an orphan and um, abused as an orphan. There was a terrible fire that he got caught up in and burned over half his body. I'm going to head back and see Zack. You finish your errand on B6. Yeah, so I want to hurry and get back to B2. Very well. Let us return then. Yes, please. Back to Zack. Zack attack. <clears throat> And who to thunk it? What is the matter? Oh no. Hmm. He's gone. Jack's gone. Hmm. My first thought, I would look at the preacher and think that he did something, but I am not able to produce him, even if you continue to stare at me like that. Are you being truthful? Indeed, I am. Just as I suspected, the one behind this chain of misfortune was none other than the Rachel Gardner. What is it with you? I told you it has nothing to do with me. Was Danny on B5? He is the only one whose whereabouts are unknown to me. Uh, why would such an earnest and sensible man start acting so bizarre? It is you who is behind this, is it not? It's not my fault. It's my eyes' fault. I've got great eyes. What can I say? Never mind that. I gotta find Zack. Wait. I have been watching thee. I have grown curious as to what sort of meddling hellion you are. If baneful, then justice must be swift. Though the sight of you searching for medicine for Zack did offer a glimmer of hope, I appreciate that, Robin. Look at you trying to find the good in people. Alas, it seems I was mistaken. Oh, there that goes. Your actions abound with selfishness and ruthlessness. And the answer you gave me at the outset as to why you are trying to keep Zack alive because you wish for him to take your life. Oh, Rachel Godna. All of your actions are without a doubt selfish. For you love only yourself. No, but I just met Zach, so, and everybody else in here, I just, there's not a lot of good pickings to show love. Sure, I want Zach to kill me, but it's not just about that. There's more to it. Zach swore an oath to God that he would take my life. Rachel Godna. Say Zach swore an oath to God. However, even if he did make that oath, how do you know if God will choose to allow it? If there were others with the same oath, do you not think that it is God's will to determine which shall come to pass? Did the will of God differ from your own? What then will you do? Uh, never thought about that. Forgive me, it was a rather heartless question. Now I must make preparations before I sentence you. Huh? Everybody wants to sentence somebody. Here he goes with his sweet scent, purple fume, farting ass. That sweet scent, could it be? Well then, Rachel Godna. Let the deliberation proceed. And we're back to it. What just happened? What was I doing just now? The will of God. Never mind about me. Even though the walls are moving and I can't seem to stand still. The man's not here. I gotta hurry and find Zack. Whoa, what was that? What? What is... What is... Is that a snake? Oh, of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? A giant snake. I, I gotta get away. Yep, yeah, makes sense to me. Time to go. Oh, Jesus. Mm. How fun. Zack? Zack, wake up. Good thing that snake's waiting for us. One second. Huh? There's a giant snake run. What are you talking about? Look, it's right there. 
Listen to me. Hurry, we'll take the door behind us. I'm, uh, talking to you. Step on it. Hurry, Zach. Ah, shut up. Okay, well, that's one way to solve this problem. I mean, they always say violence is the answer, right? Oops. So hitting or cutting her seems to be the way to break this spell. Not a very good spell, is it? Oops. Don't give me oops. What the hell are you talking about anyway? But a giant snake. You must be imagining things. Are you fucked in the head? Don't make me pound your head again. Hmm. That's when I think you're back. You don't make any sense. And you're all freaked out. I knew you couldn't handle yourself all alone out there. I'm... I'm sorry. Are you alright, Zack? Why did I just read it in Zack's voice? Why did you move here? <sighs> I had an unwanted visitor. Hmm. Dr. Danny? Yep, the one and only. How'd you know? His body was missing. That makes sense. Cocky bastard. I couldn't move, so the bastard bolted before I could finish him off. Did Danny say anything? Huh? Who cares? It's nothing you need to be worrying about. I see. Never mind all that. You came back alive. I, my voice is not going back to what Zack's voice originally was because it just hurts my throat too much. Uh. Huh? What's wrong? I'm sorry. All the medicine on B5 was gone. Come to think of it, that bastard muttered something about having medicine. So he did have a hand in this. Huh. Hey, did you make it to B6 and get the stuff I told you about? Oh, that? Yeah. That's all I need. Hey, let me see it. Is this what you wanted? All right. Now this I can wield. Is that knife yours? Oh. This was my original go-to guy before all this. Hey. What do you say we get a move on? No, wait. You're still in no shape to move around. Man, you're pesky. I got some major Z's earlier. So I can manage. Wait. And at least let me treat your wounds. Back off. Don't get any ideas about touching or doing anything to me. It'll take more than some cuts and bruises to take me down, so don't you worry. That won't do. What is it with you? You've had a weird look on your face ever since you got here. Uh... Do you remember what that woman on B3 said? Huh? When I think that she was right, it makes me want to puke. But she wasn't wrong about one thing. No. You and I aren't playthings. Not that part. You already gave your spill on that, so I remember it. What then? The part about me being a monster. A monster doesn't go down so easily. When did you say that was true? Yeah, I guess. I haven't met too many monsters in my life, but yeah, I would assume they're hard to kill. Huh? Come on now. Would you quit making that weird face? Pretty much normal for a monster. That's always been normal for me. Hey, quit spacing out. Whatever the case, all we can do is keep going if there's no medicine. If you're not coming, then I'll leave you behind. Wait, I'll go. Then hurry your ass up. But, just so you know, I can't run right now. Okay, I got it. I'll run for the both of us. Watch. Watch how I run for the both of us. There's a trail of blood. Is this Dr. Danny's? Fuck if I know. Well, I'm pretty sure he was dripping with blood. Dripping with blood, but he was still alive. He was packing insurance under his clothes. 
At any rate, if Danny has medicine, then we got to track him down. Let's follow the blood trail. Makes sense to me. Oh, nope, I can't run anymore. I lied. There's so much for, so much for watching me run. This door is open. Why do we have to talk about everything we're doing? Just go through the damn door. And the blood trail leads this way. Did Dr. Danny pass through? See, we already discussed that. Why am I doubling down on the same thing we just discussed? Hey, Zach. Uh, what's up? I feel like our character just likes to talk. There's a lot of talking going on. Earlier, you referred to yourself as a monster. Does that mean you're not human? See, what? Motherf what? Why, why are we asking this right now? He's bleeding out and you want to save his life and you got a hypothetical, philosophical question to discuss with him. Ugh. Well, let me ask you. Define human for me. Hmm. What's a decent human being to you? Those desired by God? Ugh. What the hell? Is that all you freaking think about? Yeah. Anyway, I'm a decent and normal guy, no matter what. Or am I something else? Does your so-called God say it's unforgivable to be killed by a monster? Uh, no, my God doesn't say that. My God doesn't say that. Ugh. Look at you getting all serious now. <sighs> ah, shit. I said something dumb. Fuck, let's get going. That was her fault for asking that question. We didn't have to have that serious talk right now. There's no need for that. Hey, Z hey Zach. It's like a kid who just, like, just wants to know when we're there. Were you staying in that room where I found the knife? Who else would have been staying there? What about that room? I was just curious. Uh, this has to do with what we talked about earlier, but I know nothing about you, Zach. You're, for some reason, I just got curious. What the hell? Man, you're weird. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that that room could use a bit more tidying up. I don't think he plans on going back. I think that was like a temporary stay for him. But who the fuck cares? It's not like I'm ever going back there again. But it doesn't matter anyway. Yeah, stop asking stupid shit. A rip painting of a snake adorns the wall. This guy likes snakes. Uh oh. I hear something. Snakes. Does he see these? Um. Oh. Hey. Stop spacing out. It's the real thing this time. Run. Go on ahead without me and I f and find a way out of here. Ah, shit. I can't slash them all in one go with this dinky knife. Hey, I thought I told you to hurry. Okay, keep slashing, Zach. I'm on my way. Found the exit and it's unlocked. Zach, there's a way out here. I'm coming, so wait for me. Hurry, Zach. Uh-oh. Uh. Somebody got effed up. Either the snake or her. One of the two. Snake, he's fast. Zach? This is bullshit. I can't run. My scythe's too heavy. What kind of torture are you putting me through? Ooh. Um, everything that was inside of Zach seems like it just came out his bottom. Zach, you're bleeding. There's no medicine to fix that. Hey, let's move. I didn't kill all the snakes. Okay, let's get out of here. He gonna die. He gonna die. There he die. Damn. I feel weak again. They put and take it easy. It might be fatal. Hey, I told you that it'd take more than this to take me down. Nope, I won't have it. Stay put. Uh, that, that look on your face. 
Huh? Zach, just take it easy here. From here on out, I'll manage I'll manage by myself. I promise to find some medicine this time. Ugh. Hey, you've been acting weird for a while now. What the hell's gotten into you? Huh? That gloomy face. What? You know something I don't? No, I... Never mind that. I gotta find some medicine as soon as possible. Don't ignore my question. Plus, you're as good as dead out there without me. Yes, you haven't almost died from that ghost snake. Oh, I have a gun. As long as I have this, even if that doctor's around. All right, then let me see it. Huh? Hey. Hmm. Let me see it. Bang. Crap. No bullets. Did he just point that gun and shoot her? What the? He really don't give a damn about her still. Hey. What's the point in unpacking? What's the point in packing? Un un ah. Damn his voice. <laughs> What's the point in packing an unloaded gun? What are you thinking? To scare people. Or if you play Persona, if you're in the other world, you can go bang bang and bullets will fly out through your heart or something. I can't remember. Ah, shit. If that's all you're taking, then you're just going to get yourself killed out there. Aren't you willing to be killed by me? Um. Even so... You're freaking out over the fact that I could bite the big one. What do you want from me? What's going through your head? Word to God for me. Shit, here we go again. Can you really trust a monster to follow through on a promise like that? Yeah, if any promise, the killing one seems like a good one for a monster. You're not a liar, right? Kate's liars. She, he did say that. Nope. My word is my word. Then... But... There's no God in this world. Well, there's a preacher, right? Uh-oh. Uh... You're wrong. Ugh. If no God exists, then... What... What am I supposed to do? But Zach... It's not just that you swore to God for me. Even if someone were to swear to God for me, it wouldn't be the same. What then? I don't know. I don't know. I'm sorry. What the hell is up with you? Do me a favor. And smile. Huh? But right now, I don't know if I can do it right. I know you suck at it. Just do it. Hmm. Uh. Here we go again. Cheese. Zach? I'm gonna sleep now. Do whatever you like. Uh. Hey. Huh? Take this. It's probably too much for you, though. No, no, it's probably the right size for her. Jack? Uh, I hope that's just a sleep. I don't think you're supposed to let people who are bleeding out sleep, though. The blade edge of the dirty knife gleams with sharpness. Can I take it? Okay, I acquired a knife. This knife, I wonder if I can wield it. I don't know. Time to figure it out. Yep, she needs to wield it. No problem. It's a knife. Can't be that big. It's not a sword. It's a knife. 